everyone, Lynn with Ben Crazy here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cheap and easy rabbit toy. I have no idea what to call this, um, but let's get into it. I've, we'll just call it Homemade Rabbit Toy for now, unless I think of a better idea, then it'll be in the title. But, or if you can think of a better idea, leave it down in the comment below of what I should call this Let's get into the video. First thing we're going to need to make this toy is two toilet paper rolls, some sisal, scissors, and a pen. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to punch holes into it. And I recommend doing this before or after. That's what the pen is for. Before or after you do this. <coughs> Doesn't really matter. Either way works. It's just a little easier when it's like this. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut this part strips like so all along the toilet paper roll. Not that difficult on both sides. And then once you're done cutting those strips, you don't want huge long ones or short small ones either. And then you're going to want to go like this and fan them all out. You want to make them roughly the same size so this doesn't happen. And then you want to do that to the, next, the other side of the toilet paper and the other one, and this one as well. The next thing you're going to want to do is cut your sisal probably about 30 centimeters or more. It's okay if you have extra, you can always cut it off. So you're going to want to tie an end, a, a knot in the end of one of your pieces of sisal. You're going to want to make the knot fairly big so that it can't slide out the end of your hole that you have put in your toilet paper roll. So then once you have these both cut up, you're going to want to take your sisal that you just put a whole knot in and you're going to want to string your first one through. And you're going to want to string it through all the way to the bottom. Then you're going to want to tie another knot in here after your first, after you've strung your first one through just so that it doesn't move around on you and that way your toy can stay outstretched um, and not have to worry about both sisal, uh, both toilet hip rolls being right next to each other. Okay, so that's real fun. Because you want to leave a bit of space between both of them. And then you're gonna wait. You're gonna wanna tie a second knot before you string the first one through. So again they won't touch each other and you're going to want to have enough space that there's a little bit of room between the two of them, maybe a couple inches depending on how far away you want your second toilet paper roll to be. So that's this in between mine. And if your sisal ever comes like unbraided and stuff, just twist it back again on it, like twirl it back again on itself. I find that seems to help. Um, that sometimes you know I when you're working with people. So you want to lace it to the second one so voila. You're gonna want to move that down to where that knot was, and you're gonna want to tie a knot. And then you're just going to want to cut off your excess sizzle. So, what you could do now is you could either leave it like this, or you can put hay in your toy, depending on what your rabbit likes, or if you just want to have your rabbit incorporate more hay into your cage, you can also put hay in this. So, 
We are gonna go put some light in this and we'll be right back. Here's what it looks like with hay in it. Um, I don't know, I like it kind of better without, I feel like it's a better tree kind of without, but then also if you like tough hay and carpet, it's easier too. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and how to make this cheap, easy, less than five minutes, under five minutes rabbit toy that costs you probably next to nothing of just things you have lying around your house. Keep your buns happy and healthy. Thanks. Bye.